I think what's interesting to me about this music is it demands that I choreograph in a musical way. There's some pieces of music that a choreographer can just kind of walk all over and, you know, it could be this, it could be that, but I realized very quickly into the process that this music needed uh, me to be absolutely specific with pretty much every note, every step. It's a suite of dances, a Bach cello suite. This one that I chose, number six, is apparently the most difficult one. I chose that without realizing it. Sorry to the cellist. Bach's music is structured so beautifully that I feel like if I can just stay close to the music and do what the music is asking me to, then I hope that the structure of the piece will feel as solid as the structure of the music feels. The movement vocabulary for this piece is based on a ballet foundation. It is contemporary, so that it uses floor work. And I'm using point shoes, which I don't always do. And in this piece, some of the women dancers are on point, some of them are off point in socks. And I wanted to be able to contrast what's possible when you're dancing on point with what becomes possible without point shoes on. It's not always that I get to work with live music. I liked the idea of having a musician on stage, and I think the cello is a beautiful sounding instrument, but also a beautiful looking instrument. My piece doesn't have a story. On the other hand, it is about relationships. These are people dancing on stage, so as soon as you have two people or three people dancing and interacting, of course our brains are gonna make up stories. Look for the special quality of movement that appears when the point shoes are present and contrast that with this sort of more slippery, grounded quality that uh, you can have when you're dancing in socks. Box music was written during Baroque times, and I think some of the things that I'm creating start to look like Baroque dance, even <laughs> with my lack of knowledge about it. I've been working with Renee Schaefer, who's designing the costumes, and we wanted something very colorful, I wanted a lot of color on stage. And so we tried a lot of different combinations of what colors would look good and interesting together. Um, I knew, and Raul also knew that we wanted the three pieces to look very different. You know, I do a lot of floor work, but I also wanted to see the dancer's legs. And so to find a costume that would allow us to slide around on the floor. For me, I always like to start with creating solos and duets. I feel most comfortable doing that, having only one or two dancers in the space and the intimate atmosphere of that. And um, on the other hand, I know that the most exciting and dynamic parts are when the whole group is on stage together. I'm really coming back to the classical ballet vocabulary and bringing everything that I know about contemporary dance and other forms so that I can think about what could belong in the classical ballet vocabulary but hasn't. So it's like expanding maybe the family of ballet to include lots of unknown, uh, long lost cousins or something like that. What are, what are some paths that ballet could take but just hasn't thought to take before?